Hey guys, EBP Man here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to install applications, Windows applications that have not been certified for Windows 10S. It's going to be a short video, but you'll want to check this out. Now, one of the things I discovered today as I was playing with the Surface uh, Go is that it, I tried to install uh, Google Chrome and it wouldn't work. I tried to install VLC and it wouldn't work. And that's because uh, Windows Go is requiring a certification that the products go through before, the software products go through before they can run on the application on the desktop itself of the Surface. And that's to ensure, obviously, that you don't have any crashes and that you have the be best experience possible, which I think is a great thing. But what I'm going to show you in this video is how you can you safely override this. So we're not talking about hacking. We're not talking about modifying the software in any way at any level. It's actually part of Windows. You just need to know. So let's do that. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and tap the little bell icon to get notified when new videos become available. So in the Windows Marketplace, there is an application that is switch out of S mode. And we're going to go ahead and zoom in so you can see what this does. So swim out of S mode or switch out of S mode allows you to install things like Chrome, uh, Firefox, uh, uh, VLC, any other any application that has been certified for Windows, I would say <laughs> the adult version or Windows, the version that we all have on our desktops to work on this tablet. So you're not hacking it. And here are some options. So notice what it says right here. So uh, here you have some of the features and what you can do versus what you can't do. And you'll notice that S mode is pretty uh, functional. There's a lot of things that you can do, but this is one of them. Install any app. So if you want to use apps that you're used to using on your desktop, Photoshop, one of them, uh, maybe even uh, some alternative uh, Office products, uh, you can't do that unless you turn this on. So really, that's why I installed it. Once you install this um, app that is part of the Windows uh, Marketplace, you'll be able to install any app without any issues. All right, so I just want to show you uh, how I got Chrome installed. So once you've enabled that function, um, any application that you're going to install is going to just come up and it's going to prompt you, are you sure you want to install it? But here is Chrome and Chrome is working fine. It's probably not as smooth as I would want it to and you can see kind of how it's stuttering sometimes. There it looks like it's uh, catching up now. It's important for me to have Chrome because I do have a lot of Chrome applications. I do use YouTube TV and I'm not able to run YouTube TV on the Microsoft Edge or Explorer browser. So uh, you'll notice how it stutters a little bit. So that's kind of like the experience that you'll get. But let me show you what happens when you do an install. So when you go down and loading this uh, media player, what you'll find is that uh, Windows is going to be recognized immediately as a 64-bit version. You notice that it's downloading over here in the side, so I'm going to let it download completely. And then what I'll do is I'll launch it so you can see uh, what you'll have to go through. So it's going through the opening process. And now I get this message. Uh, the, before, I wouldn't get this message. And you'll notice that it's asking, do you want to install this application? I'm going to say yes. And that's pretty much it. You notice I'll just go through my process of installing VLC. I'll say next, and then I'll go through the actual configuration. So that's how I got oh, you know, through installing other apps. Just install that app, enable it, and you're set to go. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Now you know how to install applications, your favorite applications on your Surface Go. Let me know what you think of the Surface Go in the comment area. Smash the subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next one.